Pop and GE gang. It's your boy Foosh nigga man. Back with another goddamn video. Feel me? I wanted to make a uh, short video real quick. Um, basically, I'm tired of my tire sticks. You feel me? Poppin' GE gang, it's your boy Foosh nigga man, back with another goddamn video, feel me? I wanted to make a uh, short video real quick. Um, basically I'm tired of my tire sticks, you feel me? Um, but we're gonna discuss that after I get back from work, man, I gotta go out. You see I got my juice right there, goddamn truck, got my lunch, feel me? Check this out. Look at this. Look how dirty that shit is. We're gonna discuss why I'm tired of my tire sticker. Feel me? Um, things cost a lot of goddamn money. But I'm gonna take y'all on a drive with me uh, to work real quick. I'm gonna go make these people a bag. Well, I try to make my little bag so I can get up out of here type bag, feel me? So, that's what I do on a daily, feel me? Uh, it is what it is. Uh, we're gonna get the shit done, though. We're gonna get the shit done. And y'all gonna get to see a little bit of what I do every goddamn day six days a week my goal is to be uh debt free by summertime um because you know we've been locked up for uh when i say locked up COVID for two years two and a half whatever just in the house can't do shit so i'm trying to make this the best summer possible i already told all my homeboys my partners uh my really close friends that that's what i'm trying to do and that's what we should strive to do is is uh be debt free in the summer uh get this money and live the best best life possible um and had the best summer possible you know what i mean and that comes that comes down to even my clothing i'm trying to put out the best clothing i can put out so make sure you head over to uh grind everyday living apparel we got some uh some new stuff in it's gonna go on the website this weekend so make sure you cop that a1 type quality type shit you feel me? that's all i put out anyway it's quality over quantity for me um, we do have a uh, we got a brand new uh, Balkavi mask in. Um, we got jogger suits, and you know we got our hats, our snapbacks, and we got our women stuff too, our women jogger suits. So make sure you head over there ASAP and go grab something. Crap something. <laughs> Don't do that. Go over there and grab something. Support the campaign. You feel me? So I can hurry me get out of this shit right here you feel me even though i make a uh i make great money doing this shit it just I, i'm just not the one to work for people you feel me i just i just done it because that's that was the norm you go to school um you get out you get a job and i just that's just what the fuck was taught so that's never been my thing but now in a day and age where you can just get rich and just there's always another way to make money and better money and not have to work for somebody I'm just I'm just taking full advantage of it, you know what I mean? Because this is a position I feel like I should have been in a long time ago. So I'm just making uh, moves, credit score going through the roof. Uh, I'm building my business credit, getting through the fucking roof. So when that summertime comes, I'm gonna be able to make big moves on the business side and personal side. So it's very important. Make sure if you're not up on your crypto, get up on your crypto, man. Do your research. Um, let me know if you guys want to drop that video still, man, about crypto. I know the market right now is really red, but you got to have diamond hands. You got to have diamond hands because when the market is red like this and everything's down, that's when the big corporations come and the big wigs come and they come and buy up all the crypto. That's when you buy it. You don't buy the shit when it's high. You buy it when it's fucking really low. Like, shit is on a discount right now. Like, I'm looking at the prices like, God damn, like, shit, like, you know what I mean? So we've been, we've been me, my brothers, my friends, we've been buy, buying the goddamn dips. That's what we've been doing. So, um... When that market uh, goes, like right now, that motherfucker dip, dip, dip. When that motherfucker shoot back up like it's gonna do, then we're gonna make our profit. The only time you lose a profit is when you fucking sell. Know that, okay? But we're gonna talk about why I'm done with tire stickers, man. I, you guys know I love my tire stickers, man. I, I really do. But I'm gonna think I'm, I'm gonna have to get that shit up, bro. It's just, 
it's, it's too much. Um, we're gonna talk about it. But first, we're gonna take this ride. As you can see, I'm listening to my goddamn uh, my Pandora. Uh, the Mini Man is up right now. You know what I'm saying? I really should have been here like fucking 5:30. It's 8. It's it's 8:30. Should have been here three hours ago and knocked this shit out and got out of here. But it's hella foggy. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's hella foggy, so I don't like coming out when it's dark and hella foggy. It just makes, when you're driving these trucks, it just makes it that much harder. It's already hard when you're driving a car. You know what I mean? Just imagine driving one of those fucking trucks and you barely can see. So, um, we're going to take a ride. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of something um, before we get back and finish this video of why I'm done with the tire stickers and, you know what I mean, make this video real nice and short while spitting some game at the same time. Um, but make sure you subscribe to the channel like right now. Make sure you hit the post, uh, the notification bell and hit all on the motherfucker, man. So when you get notified when I post a video, when I post a short, it all goes together. You feel me? Um, I'm going to catch you guys when I'm on the road and what I want to show you guys, whatever site I'll get to, I want to show you guys just a little bit of what I do and what I deal with on a daily. You know what I mean? Then we're going to get there. Um, but let me catch you guys in a minute. Yeah. All right, G gang. So it's been a couple hours. Uh, a couple hours later, I'm about to show you guys this one stop. But first, we gotta eat some lunch. Um, this is how we eat lunch right now. So we eat it on the go, right? So y'all know I'm on my on my fitness shit. So I got my Southwest Chipotle salad. This is my shit right here. Every day I can have the same shit. I know it's boring, but this saves the day right here. Got my bowl. I got my ice pack right there to keep the shit uh, cold for me. I drank my green juice and I got uh, three bottles of water, brought my bowl. So we're about to get this uh, lunch in real quick and then I'm gonna show you guys the next stop. Um, well, I'm gonna show you guys a stop of what I do every day. It's gonna be nasty, you saying, so make sure you, uh, you ain't eating lunch when I show you this. Uh, as you can see, they got something going on at the, uh, they got something going on at the Coma Dome right there. Probably a fucking, uh, I don't know what they got going on at the Tacoma Dome. The Tacoma Dome is a place that like does car shows, they do graduations for high schools, they do uh, basketball tournaments and shit like that. So they got something going on there. That's why the police are there and a bunch of cars. But let me get my salad in this bowl, eat this motherfucker, man. I'm gonna take you guys on the stop and uh, ride with me, yeah. All right, Joe, let's go. Let's go hit up this uh, site so I can show y'all what I do. Take the next right onto East 25th Street, then turn right onto East D Street. Turn right gotta watch out for Tacoma, man. Motherfuckers crazy out here. You gotta watch your ass. What the fuck is the other one at? Oh, hell no. Bruh. Y'all get to see some shit right now. Look at the fuck. That motherfucker's on the ground, bro. Fuck! Fuck me, man. Always something. This is the shit I gotta deal with, man. Fuck! Look at that, y'all see that shit? It's a homeless site. They fuck our units up. Alright, so one thing about Honey Bucket, man, the company I work for, they're like the best at what they do, right? They buy up these little companies that can't really fuck you know, fucking do what they could do. Honey Bucket is like number one 
um, especially in this state, for doing what they do. We get the job done regardless. You know what I mean? No matter what, Honey Bucket's gonna get the job done. Um, I'm like the number one driver. I feel in my book. I, I mean, out of out of drivers, I'm like I'm top three for sure. When it comes to pay, I'm number one. Nobody at this job makes more money than I do as a driver. This job right here, driving, cleaning these motherfuckers, picking them up, delivering them. Nobody has, makes more money here than I do because I, I put in the work. I grind 24 seven, you guys know what I do, right? Um, honey bucket, they get the job done, man. Don't matter if it's shit like this, they'll figure out a way to get it done. They send motherfuckers like me to come get the shit done. Um, I take no days off. They make hella fucking money. I get a little percentage of that. That's enough to get me where I need to be. You feel me? Um, like I said, I make, I make, I make some good money. You feel me? So, but at the same time, I gotta deal with shit like that right there when I roll up on the fucking side, which is, un you know, it's always expected but unexpected at the same time. I expect it when the wind is blowing and we got wind storms and they blow these motherfuckers over. But it's like the worst to roll up on something like that. It's extra time cleaning it. You gotta really put your mask on. Um, Cause you don't want to get shit all nowhere. I got my, I'm about to double up on my goddamn mask. When I come to sites like this, I double up for sure. You know what I mean? You just don't want to take the chance. Um, but I want to show you guys what I work with, what I deal with every damn day. So I don't want to hear nobody excuses about working at, working at McDonald's, working at fucking big five at these fucking places. You guys don't deal with shit like this. You guys deal with customers. These homeless people basically are my goddamn customers. And it's the shit they fucking do, you feel me? So I gotta take care of them regardless. But um I got my and he's rolling up. Man, let me go handle this goddamn shit, man. I'm gonna get back to you guys when we get to the yard and I'm gonna show you guys why. Um well the title of the thumbnail that you guys see right now, we're gonna talk about that and why I'm not gonna fuck with uh tire tickets anymore. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not. Even though I love them, I'm pretty much done with them for now unless I get really rich and I got somebody to put them on for me. So like, I don't know. Let me double mask up, man. Fuck me. Sit boy Pooch gonna come down. Get to the bag. Any thought by any means necessary. I don't give a fuck. Get in that crypto game. Start your own business so you don't have to go work a nine to five. Deal with shit like this. You go send somebody else to do it like they send to my <laughs> my black ass to do it. I gotta do it. You feel me trying to get the fuck out of here. So let me get to it, man. I'm gonna catch you guys in the yard. We're gonna discuss the title and the thumbnail. Yeah. Alright, y'all, we're done for the day. I think that was a good eight hours or something like that all right so now we're gonna get into the title but or the thumbnail of why I'm done with tire stickers. I showed you guys the weather earlier. Look at this shit, man. Like, this is Washington. Look at all this mud and shit. All the rain, the snow we had. I'm gonna show you guys again. All right. Now, you guys know that these tire stickers are supposed to be white, right? Look how dirty that shit is. So yes, I, I've been ne ne uh, neglecting the car, obviously because the weather's been shitty as fuck. Um, so I definitely been ne neglecting the car, but I'm over tire stickers because the motherfuckers is like two hundred dollars, uh, two hundred dollars for the tire stickers. And uh, it just ain't worth it no because I don't pay to have them put on. I put them on myself and it's a lot of work. So it's like, that I don't even get the usage I think I should get out of them. You know what I'm saying? Like here in Washington, the weather fucks up and it fucks up the tire stickers just like that. They start peeling. I just don't got time for it. And I think I'm gonna go back to, well, I know I'm gonna go back to just having no tire stickers and uh, my tires shine on the tires. So this is the last you're gonna see a tire stickers for a while in my car. I love it, I said I would never go back. You, you can't even see your car without tire stickers once you have them on there. Well, we're gonna find out because for right now, I'm good. I don't wanna spend the money. 
and I don't want to only have them last for like three months. That's a lot of work getting the motherfuckers on there. You feel me? So um, it's just not worth it. If I was in California, that's a different story. I'm gonna get the total usage out of that motherfucker, right? It's not, the weather's not gonna be fucked up. It's not gonna be snowing, raining every day. You know what I mean? So it'll be worth it. But for Washington, it just ain't worth it. Uh, to each his own, I'm just saying, if you live in a state where it's not sunny all the time, or it rains a lot, fucking like bad weather, unless you got the money, if I had the money, I would pay for it. Like I would get it done all the time. No big deal. When you do it yourself, it's a different story. So I'm just not gonna do it no more. Um, yeah, got, uh, throw, it, uh, throw it in the comments. Let me know if you guys had the same problem with the tire stickers. Like if you do them yourself. Now, if you have a shop, even if you have a shop, do them honestly, because that means you're paying for the tire stickers and to have them put on. That's a double whammy. I'll be damned. You feel me? Like, let me know what you guys think about that. Like, is it worth it to you guys to have them on only for like three months? $200 tire stickers. I don't get the cheap shit. I get the permanent shits. You feel me? Then I buy the extra glue and shit like that just in case some tire uh, letters start coming off. I can glue the motherfuckers back on. But I'm pretty much done with them. Um, it's just it's just not worth it right now. You feel me? I got way too high. I'm at a position where I could just have somebody pay for it and not even think about the money to get them done. Then maybe I'll come back. But at the same time, I do like my tire shine on my tires and I haven't had that shit for years. You feel me? Um, so run up the comments. Let me know, man. And uh, at the same time, we're going to get back to it. Let me know if you guys also leave in the comments. Let me know if you guys like this. Uh, bring you guys to work. Show you guys what I do. If you guys like seeing those shitty situations, you feel me? Them shitty situations. You feel me? Um, also, these fucking uh, these ball coffee masks. These are not on the website. Whenever you buy something, a hoodie, a hat, a jogger suit, whatever you buy off the website, one of these will come in uh, in there uh, in your package for free. I'm giving these away. I'm not charging for these. Um, so if it gets cold outside, like it's cold right now, that's why I'm wearing it. Extra protection, you feel me? Um, head over to Grind Everyday Living Apparel. Go copy something so you can get you a free ball coffee mask. That's what it's called. Ball coffee full face mask. You feel me? This thing is so goddamn dirty, it's not even funny. This whole car just just been neglected like a motherfucker, you feel me? Look at this, look at this. This shit is ridiculous, bro. Ridiculous. So, I don't think, I don't know how clean I'm gonna be able to get those tire stickers once I clean the car. I don't, I don't know if, if they'll ever get back white. So it's like, and I like the fresh white. When that shit is white, the fucking car stares all day long. But then when it's dirty like this, it don't even fucking stand out. So I'm just tired of that whole shit in Washington, you feel me? I had to be somewhere else to get that or, or had the money to pay for that shit to get done every three months and it's, and it's nothing. But right now, it's a no-go. Make sure you guys have a grind every day living apparel, man. Grab something. Today is the, uh, what's today? The 22nd, January 22nd, 2022. I'm about to head home with the fam. Watch the Green Bay 49ers game. Y'all know 49er gang all day long over here. If you want a 49er hat or you're a fan or you know somebody who's a fan of Love the Niners, go, on, go to the website, cop you a goddamn uh, 49ers hat. Matter of fact, if you're watching this fucking video and you made it this far, um, use code WILLG, W-I-L-L-G, get 20% off your entire order. Fuck it. Why not? I feel like the 49ers are going to win tonight. I, I'm, I'm on that type of time, you feel me? I'm in a good mood, you feel me? Will G, 20% off your entire order, you feel me? You get a free ball coffee mask, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is like a $20 value, you get for fucking free. Um, hopefully you guys take this video as um, whatever the title is, you know, I'm tired, I'm done with tire stickers. You guys, some of you guys might not, some of you guys might have never bought tire stickers, but um, hopefully you take it, I took the fucking, took you guys on a drive with me. Um, you take it as motivation is either a use it as a stepping stone go get you a job but make sure it's uh shit hopefully a well-paying job or a job that you can get hella overtime hours on and use that shit as a stepping stone to eventually get out of there start your own business start your youtube channel use it use that job to fund what you want to do in life that's exactly what the fuck i'm doing this job is paying for everything so this, this job is my number one priority because it pays for all that shit right it pays for the youtube it pays for the parts for the car it pays for my clothing brand i don't get I didn't go get no big ass loan because I don't want to pay back no fucking big ass loan uh, with my clothing. I don't. So everything is funded through this fucking job. That's the way I want to do it. I don't want to have to go pay back somebody else fifty thousand um, dollars worth of fucking merchandise type shit. You feel me? Like I, I I hate paying people back. Not people. Companies. 
fuck it alone. It's like, damn, I gotta pay 50 racks back. Like, shit, I don't give a fuck if I made 200 to giving out that 50. I don't wanna do that. I'd rather fund this shit and, and, and come from the bottom like that. That's just how I wanna run my business. And, and right now it's working for me, so I got no issues with that. You feel me? So hopefully you look at it as motivation. If you guys like this type of videos and want me to take you guys on more rides and show you more shit what I do, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. Just run it up in the comments. Let me know if you like the tire stickers. If you're if you can't live without them now, let me know how your state is doing. Like, is the weather bad for you to hive tire stickers? Let me know if you put them on yourself. Let me know if you pay a shop. Let me know if you like this video, the, the vlog of the day in the life of what I do. You feel me? Some some YouTubers don't show what they do for. I'm like, it, it's not a big deal. It's like give people motivation. Well, shit, if he's doing that and he's doing this and he, it's fun this, it makes fucking sense. Fuck it. You gotta have a stepping stone, and this is mine. Feel me? Lanes has a stepping stone. Shout out to my guy, Sirius Lanes. Head over there uh, to his YouTube channel. Follow him. Subscribe to his channel. Head over to his website, uh, SeriousMindset.net. Grab you something from over there on his website. Man, we just doing a lot of shit behind the scenes. Um, crypto is looking real bad right now, but you gotta have diamond hands. This is the time to buy. Everything's at a discount. Um, I don't know what else to say, man. This is supposed to be a short-ass fucking video. I didn't know I was gonna take you guys on a ride to work with me. But I said, fuck it, why not? Because I haven't put out a video. So I'm like, fuck it, let's, let's make something of it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. That's all I really want to know is what you guys thought about this fucking video. Hopefully, um, if you guys get something out of it, if you do, like I said, run it up in the comments. Um, and if you guys like it, I'm going to do more of it. That way you have more content. I won't, I won't go fucking weeks without content. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, shit, I could do this every day because I work six days a week. I could do this and then mix this in with something else and have a video. It, work, it will work for me. But if you guys don't like it, I won't do it. I'll have to figure some shit out. If you do like it, oh, we on to something, you feel me? Um, other than that, man, I'm going to head home, watch this game with my uh, my family, get my workout out and afterward. But right now, I'm about to head to Walmart, grab me some, um, I'm out of frozen fruit from my smoothies, and that's a daily thing. So, got to head there and then head home and do my thing. So, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one, man. Run it up in the comments. Make sure, if you're new to the channel, to subscribe to the channel, like, right now. Hit the notification bell, like, ASAP. Scroll that motherfucker up. Hit all so you notify every time I post a video. And it's going to be more awesome if you guys like this type of video. The vlogging type shit with the work and the, the, the shit you feel me. Get with your boy. Uh, it's your boy Food Tinker, man. I'm out this bitch. I'm trying to go home. It's getting dark as a motherfucker. Good, good, good. Eight, nine hour a day at work, man. We get into that bag, man. So we can get up out this bag. You feel me? It's your boy Food Tinker. I'm out this bitch. Yes, sir. Love you guys. Bye.